So what is the problem with training to failure? Well, this is the problem. And you think that fatiguing is the ultimate goal when stimulating is the ultimate goal. Then how do you lose body fat? So I'm going to go with this. Yeah, muscle imbalance usually comes off of uh, back problems or nerve issues. Or On fasting days, can she do the green drink? 100%. Double, double time and give him the, give him the, give him that shot. We got Mo here too as well. Is it better to start lightweight? Is there anything with weightlifting that said light? Did is there a book out? Did somebody say that to you that lightweight does something? Because from what I understand, weightlifting is to use weight for poundage to build muscle. I don't know where the idea of lightweight came in. I've heard of a lot of reps. And so you have to use a certain amount of weight to get the reps. But where did the terminology light weights come in? So I, I don't understand your question on that. Nobody ever in the history of exercise with any intelligence said uh, there's a thing called lightweight lifting. It comes from people like you who would go, all right, you know, today we're going to go a little light. I'm just going to put 405 on the incline. Ah, uh, so it's I got gotcha. you. Know? Okay, that, that could be what it means. Yeah, there's there's never been a thing ever just so you guys can clear on this everybody on both sides there's no thing called lightweight lifting it's uh weight lifting use the weight that you can do for the rep range you're doing okay hopefully that answers your question we check out the program that you're on we make sure that you're doing the right program and now not only do i look at what you are doing but i take a f look at your photos and actually see your body and then we talk about things like this it is hey you need to develop bigger arms or your shoulders are lacking or you need to train legs which i know a lot of you the majority of the people on here do not want to hear um but yeah that's kind of the stuff that we go over there we go over the nutrition making sure that you're eating on time at the right times what foods you need to be eating to make sure you're good now, with all this being said, I wanted to jump on here today because it has got overwhelming with the 12-week transformation, the Titan Challenge. You guys know this is going down here. We have everybody wanting to do what Mona and I are doing, and the majority of the Titan crew is doing. So we're all doing the 30-day blitz. Uh, and obviously, Titan is doing the 30-day blitz, <clears throat> and that's why he's screaming and yelling right now. So I just got another load of people saying, hey, they want to switch over from what the program they're on right now to the 12 week. Well, to the, the idea of doing the 30 day blitz followed by the nine week strength gains, uh, power bodybuilding, sorry. Um, and the reason why is, because, <laughs> uh, which I love, is that most of the people in the Titan crew are savages and they want to do the hardest thing possible and so that is the hardest thing possible and that's what Mona and I are doing uh, so we did start the 30-day blitz and you can still get in on this for the next three weeks on fasting days can she do the green drink 100 percent yeah yeah um, I do it on fasting days uh, when I just got nothing in the tank and, and I can't move uh, so I'll do the green drink or if I get lightheaded or anything like that um, as you guys know, when you're doing this, and the leaner and leaner you get, the harder and harder it gets. Um, for some of us, it doesn't get that hard for Serge or Mona, um, but they are at a different level than all of us, with that being said. <laughs> Serge. Why do we throw a Serge in this pile? Because Serge fasts pretty much seven days a week, and he also does a uh, dehydration. So we got the craziness, we got the 30-day blitz, then we're going into the nine-week strength gains. Power bodybuilding. I keep doing both. If you can't do the nine week, uh, the nine week power bodybuilding, let's say you can't do that because um, that is only available on my website. Uh, then you can do the strength gains over on uh, the Fit Plan. Uh, do that or power bodybuilding, whichever. But we went over the numbers yesterday on what your lifts should be as we keep moving forward. You get to do that. You know that this is this is like. Is that the first time you do that with me? Well, yeah. We did a... Did we do it when we first started dating? Yes, for six months. 
I don't know how long it is. It just did the, the three compound moves. Yep. And everybody was asking me if I was getting ready for stage because my whole body looked. Your whole body got yeah, better. Yeah, it looked like That's I right. was we actually. Did, we, remember that? I Gavin? tested it. I yeah. tested uh, the three lifts. That's all we did. The mm -hmm. three lifts. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we did that a for a year. Yeah, I don't even remember. How and it was long. amazing how uh, those three exercises kept everything yeah, it um, looked like you're doing adapted shoulders, everything. it like everything you're doing was, back, it was yeah. just, you, just your whole body, your biceps. and was was monstrous and strong. Yeah. And so what's cool about this process is that we're going to get completely, completely ripped to the bone. Uh, like Jeremy Davis is just talking over here. He's already getting ripped. He's got abs like through the, uh, his veins through his abs and stuff. And we're Finally. Gonna go, we're going to go out and get a meal with him on Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah. He says that's the one thing he has better than us. He can go out and get the right restaurants. And he does. Have you ever seen his yeah. meals on Sunday? He tags me on every meal. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's awesome. Him. It's that awesome. pasta meal, though. Jeez. It's great stuff. Mm -hmm. And how do you lose body fat? So I'm going to go with this. Holy sheesh. If that is your question and your comprehension of this <laughs> aspect is to ask that question there is so many there's so much that you have no comprehension on um, yeah th th so which i don't understand it's it's like me going to a stockbroker going how do i make a million dollars i mean let's 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 start out with how do i invest um so your question is absolutely get a trainer because uh, you absolutely know nothing about anything um, to ask that question. Yeah, muscle imbalance usually comes off of uh, back problems or nerve issues or you're just not focused uh, on isolating the muscle one side to the other side. So somebody asks, um, Jeffrey, do you want to use your television voice? What are the downsides to training too many sets to failure? So the downside of training to failure on a lot of people do this. A lot of kids do this. Um, a lot of kids, uh, or a lot of, actually, you know what? That's not true. Not just kids. Uh, kids do it because they don't know any better. 40-year-olds uh, do it because they believe um, they're the, 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 oh, I'm still that high school kid. I'm still that, living that era. Um, so I see that a lot in gyms. And then I see trainers doing that with clients to get them in and out and done. So what is the problem with training to failure? Well, this is the problem. If you guys know much about, go back to like uh, Mike Metzer training. Uh, he would train uh, one or two sets to the most and to failure on that. Um, but he would only do about three exercises. So he'd do about three sets in total. The problem with uh, people today is they go into the gym and they'll do your 12 to 15 sets per body part and you're training you, you, you start with chest and you go till failure. Then you go to inclines, you go to the same thing. And then you go to dumbbells and then cable crossovers and you keep tearing and tearing it down. Now that's, that's nice, but the understanding of uh, weightlifting is set up in, a, in a, a format or should be set up in a format to where you go in to stimulate first off the nervous system and try to use as much heavy weight so you can build more density to the muscle. And then on top of that, also build just the, the inner body uh, of the connective tissue and bone density so you can retain and, and get stronger because if you get stronger that means you build more muscle you get more thickness more density and it continues on so on and so forth so if you go in and, and you're this guy that goes 135 on bench and then you're just doing 30 reps and you fatigue 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 because you're a savage and you think that fatiguing is the ultimate goal when stimulating is the ultimate goal um, the problem is you're just going to be overtraining the whole body, uh, and you're never going to get any kind of recovery. So, with that being said, for all of you, when I mostly when I work with the guys and girls in the Titan crew, I explain to them, uh, you can do a fatigue set. That's fine at the end of your workout. Get the work in that you need to get done. Get your leg extensions in. Get your squats in. Get your leg press in. Get your walking lunges. Your leg curls your calf raises and then you want to just destroy the body go back on over maybe and do some squats until you fatigue or something like that that i'm okay with as long as then you leave the gym you properly recover and eat proper uh, so you can come back the next workout to do it again um, the problem is the majority of people 
the majority of people don't do that. The majority of people go into the gym and they'll train to a fatigue state on each exercise. I do everything until I fatigue um, or, or sets and reps until I fatigue. That's how you need to train. And then on top of that, they go on and go home and then they go, no, no, I don't eat when I go home. I'll fast for about three to four or five hours uh, and then I'll eat a meal and then that's it. So not, on, not only on top of overtraining, and that's just basically overtraining, they under do uh, their nutrition or, or don't feed their body to recover. Because remember, all this is about, this is all about stimulating the muscle to grow. Okay, so you break down the muscle just enough to where it needs to grow and recover and build. That's all you really want to do in a gym. To simplify this, really simple. Okay, so the, the, the good thing about this is this, is that when you're training, if you stimulate the muscle, go in and, and like what Mona does, she goes in, lifts heavy, gets out of the gym, then she eats correctly, and then she looks like this 24-7, which is kind of badass. So, and then go home, eat, let the body recover, come back fully and strong. Mike Mentzer, yeah, we know about Mike Mentzer. Now, here's the problems with uh, Mike Metzer's uh, principles of training is that every workout went to fatigue um, when it didn't need to. And again, uh, you'll find that year after year is great and you're going to stimulate the muscle like any program, which is great, um, is that any program will work for a period of time. Now the question is, does it set you up to succeed in the future? That's where a lot of programs come short. And the problem with uh, the Mike Metz's program is that it doesn't set you up to get better in the future. It sets you up to win right now. And then if you continue that process, then you just start getting injured, start tearing muscles, and, and then you don't set yourself up for a future to where you can look good. Um, and that's the problem there. And that's what I, I realized very, very young, that that's not how I want to do it, or that's not how you should do it. Um, Somebody that I think that did this really well is Arnold. Arnold set himself up. Arnold lifted very, very heavy as a young teenager and in his 20s. Um, I don't think any of you guys really comprehend the fact that Arnold was done with bodybuilding at 28 years old. Let me say that again. He was done at 28. He only came back to compete one more time because he was doing the movie Conan and he was already in great shape. He didn't even tell anybody. Um, with that being said, so Arnold set himself up because he trained so heavy as a youngster that he uh, made his connective tissue and bone density so much better. And then from there, so, uh, and then he finished training in the sense of competing, but he continued to lift and he continued to lift properly for him and, and to keep healthy. And now he's closing in on 80. So, I mean, the ultimate goal is to be like Robbie Robinson and these guys or Steve Davis and all these old time guys that still lift today, still move it today, and still still push it. Uh, Robbie's probably by far the pinnacle yeah, of longevity, uh, in my opinion, uh, of what he does. I just saw him working out at a gym, and he's doing all these crazy exercises. And I'm yeah, like, so, it, I mean, that's that's kind of what you want to go for. Yeah. And he's consent. like somebody asked me the other day, they said, hey, what do you do for your joints? And I said, lift heavy weights. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and he seems so confused from that. And I think this goes back to the point that the guy over on Instagram made. He says, is it lightweights or heavyweights? And there's no such thing as lightweights. Nobody ever said, hey, let's go to the gym, lightweight lift. This is not a tailored program. This is a program tailored to get you in shape. It is not tailored for your lifestyle. <clears throat> so don't even think about it. Um, for anybody that's doing this right now, the 30-day blitz, you guys know this thing is insane. Um, the great thing about it is we are still in this moderate lockdown uh, for a lot of us. And so it does work out great for us so that we can get in shape. And then the nine-week program after that, if you want rep range uh, to be increased, then just do something, just re higher rep range. I don't understand. Um, I wouldn't, no, I would not change the PB program um, for uh, endurance. I would just choose... Um, Another program. Yeah, my, my shreds program or the Titan Challenge 1 or 2 to do uh, endurance increase. Power bodybuilding is strictly to be strong and muscular. 
is what that program is made for. All right, I'm going to break out of here. Um,